Right, in this video I'm going to try and describe how to um, do a helix over here. I've got a left hand helix. You'll note that I've got numbering on these two circles over here. And you'll note very especially that I've got point A. And point A on this view is at the bottom. Uh, which means my starting point is at the bottom. Point A in this view is at the top. There's point A at the top. Now the numbering needs to change on this thing. Um, it needs to change direction when you are numbering it. Right, I'm going to just demonstrate over here with this uh, handle where I'm going, in, I'm going to go in a clockwise direction with this pen, right? It's going clockwise at the moment, one, two, three, four, in a clockwise direction. I'm going to continue rotating it in the same direction, okay? Continuing rotating it. Note, I've now come to the top and you'll see that the pen is now going in an anti-clockwise direction. Right, let's have a look how that works. Um, it's a third angle orthograph projection, which means that I've got a plan view over there and I've got an elevation view over here. Um, I'm standing in between these two views. There's me that's the top of my head. I'm looking across at this thing. And the numbers in front of me, I must be able to see on my view. The numbers on the other side must be done in hidden detail. So I come over here and I say from one to two, I'm not able to see that. So that would be hidden detail going up there, two to three, hidden detail still, three to four, still hidden detail, four to five, hidden detail, five to six, hidden detail, six to seven is hidden detail. I then go dark over here because I can now see from 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, and going to 1. Right, there's the one helix done. Um, here I said that the point A is at the top, and I said that the numbering had to change from being in a clockwise direction to an anti-clockwise direction when point A is at the top. Number 1, number 2, number 3, if I'm standing in between these views, I can see from one going around to seven. So over here, I'll be able to see from one to two, from two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven. Right, seven to eight and going around to 12, that's all going to be in hidden detail because it's on the other side. There we go, hidden detail going over there. And there's my left hand thread. Note, they're exactly the same thread, just the starting position is in this one at the bottom, this one is at the top.